wonderful. Mm. Start with the wonderful. Lakers Raptors. This is LeBron to Anthony Davis early nice. in the game. Where we've got more on this game in one second. Weird Pistons Kings. De'Aaron Fox with the breakaway. I've never seen this play before. Okay. Oh, not wow. Gonna. Sometimes if you play the Pistons, Pistony type stuff. <laughs> oh, don't blame me. So Pistons win this you one. In a in shot. Arena. Exactly. Step Pistons in win. No, just kidding. Crazy. They lost by 21. It, yeah, it was a 40 point swing. I know. They were up 20 and lost. They were by up 20? 20? Yeah, in the first quarter. Oh, buddy. I went to bed after. 40 that. point swing. I am just grinding Pistons. No, you're not. <laughs> don't start again. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Wolves magic. Oh, cat. Cat with Cat's the playing funk. way more aggressively now. Look, Cat is a is a really good player. I mean, that's, right. that's barely people a just think he's soft. No, no, I mean, but he's he's good. Yeah, he's but, good. But he's doing well, this. He's not taking threes and keep, saying, keep, you know, I'm a tall version of Steph Curry. I like. That. No, but he does have that three in his game. Two of his twenty eight. We'll just let Greg chime in. That's his team. I oh, just I just want to know what a travel is in the NBA. Oh, oh stop! There it. is oh, no such thing. Like, oh, oh my, stop it! My I God. love that in you, Greg. Oh, I like oh my you. goodness gracious! There is they no, lost there to is Nebraska. No hey, Nebraska can play a little bit. Tommy Dustin, don't Frazier worry about it. walking through that door, Dust. <laughs> Dust, are you wearing your Purdue stuff? Oh my God! No, we switched it up to Flyer stuff. Smart move. Nebraska wins. And final. Where's Scott? Frost when you need him, Dust. <laughs> Back to L.A. Game tying three. Wiped off the board because A.D. goes flying. First thing Nick said in my office, like, let's break down the numbers and how many real fouls. <laughs> that is there not were. true. Granted, there was 35 that fouls called in the fourth quarter. not court. true. But when you look at the numbers. What I'm saying to tell you. Well, and then after I told you, you were like, oh, that's actually a good point. More people should say that. And then you do this. You, you do broke your, it. You got it down to, like, within 10. A I was like, there were 10. three questionable calls. Cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> also learned who the Raptors coach was last night. <laughs> NFC wild card. Rams at Lions Sunday night. Stafford headed to his first home golf playing his old team. Lions favored by three, and the Rams have been hot. 7-1 since the bye. And echoes of their Super Bowl team. Check this out. Uh, season comparison. The turnovers are the same. Red zone touchdown percentage very similar. Rushing yards per game, they're even better now. Rushing TDs, pretty similar. Except there's eight more. Not similar. Actually, I don't actually think when that I look you, at it. Actually, that, when I look at it. Have you read any of this stuff? This was one of those things Josh gave you, but you Russian didn't look is before. Better, much You're better. not supposed to say that. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. better. Better. It's better at everything. Better. Josh. I was confused. Josh. <laughs> buddy, <laughs> you're one for three. I was confused. We're not playing baseball out here, friend. It's more like that. It's more like free throws. Okay. Okay. The question is the wrong team favor. Yeah. So it's not just that the Rams are as hot as any team in the league. We show it to you. We can show them since Stafford came back from his injury, what have they done? The answer is beat everyone except for one overtime loss to Baltimore, who in that time was just crushing people. So all of that's a, you know, a positive as far as how they're playing. But I can be as I can obviously at times be a brilliant man, but I also can be a simple man. <laughs> and let me just ask Greg Jennings this question. Please. Hey, in this game, which team has the better coach? Who? Come on. Ooh, who has the better coach? I, I would go with the Rams. Who has the better quarterback? <sighs> I would go with the Rams. Who has the better defense? What are uh, we talking as about? As far as being opportunistic. Okay, what sure. are we talking about? <laughs> One team has the better coach, the better quarterback, the better defense. I would argue now that Laporte is down, the better weapons. Like, I, what are we talking about? I, I, I mean, the Rams I, are clearly the better team. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say clearly. Yeah. Uh, the, the Lions, I'm going to give them some respect. Um, I, I Look, the Rams could win this game. I'm not sure which way I'm going yet. But the Lions, just like you said, Lions have had the better offense. Golf Stafford is close. Right. I don't think it's as bad. As, like, look at the numbers. I mean, Golf's numbers actually were better. All right, across the board. And, and I, I get that Stafford's gotten hot lately. But like I said... He is one interception drop oh away. I'm just Three saying. Now he's a darn near legend. <laughs> and Nick on the call was putting him in the soup in the Hall no, of Fame. No, I was if they not. Win, Don't if say they that. win the Super Bowl, if they the win the Hall Super Bowl, and uh, he could have been a, a goat in the negative sense had Tart not dropped that. So I'm just saying. I think that the the Lions have played great football. The defense. I'm with Greg. Like the defense has gotten better. When you go into Dallas 
in a game Dallas has its antennas up for, and you hold them to 20 points, like that's impressive. So I mean, seven yeah, of that, I mean, it's 27. And I thought they outplayed the ball at the goal line. We, whenever we talk about that Detroit Dallas game, we talk about all the bad luck that went against da- Detroit, and we. I don't think I don't think it was the Detroit defense that that all of a sudden, you know what I mean, where C.D. Lamb fumbles at the inch line, or else that's 27 and they're up 14. Okay, right. so I right. mean, they, oh, they, 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 they spent more time. Exactly. In the end zone. Right. We can't what do, you, do that. What, oh, they spent the more? entire analysis of that game has been because about a play a that didn't happen. There was a legit mistake the, made by the on officials. the referees. But if we're going to count C.D.'s long touchdown when the Lions guy was playing poor flag football. Then he doesn't get credit for an extra touchdown because okay. he sparked right, the ball yeah, out of the no, no, we know. Look, I don't think the wrong team is favored. There's a lot of momentum if you're the Detroit Lions. There's a lot of positive energy in, in that city, in that locker room. This is their first home playoff game. Shoot, I wasn't even born the last time they had a playoff game at home. This is the first home That's game at Ford Field. I'm That's sorry. a lie. You're older than you're letting the audience know. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It's okay. It's okay. And, when you, and when you look at this team, like, they can score points. They're, there's no team in the NFC that scares this team, and I think they're playing. They're, they're going to play with the chip and the edge yeah. because of what happened down in Dallas, because they feel like they should be the number two seed, mm-hmm. and they had an opportunity to slip away from them. Despite how we all see, how we all understand that it went down, they feel like this is a match up that they can get done. And when you have a guy in Jared Goff who we can say uh, Matthew Stafford, he's kind of tied that bow and he's coming back to Detroit and all the things. He has he has a Super Bowl already. But Jared Goff is the odd man out where it's like, I haven't had a chance to get back at this team Ooh. that outed me. And so he's going to be on that sideline prior to the game starting. And those guys are going to – they're going to they're gonna rally around him. They're going to push him to be great. I think the Detroit Lions come away. I think you guys are nuts. And we're. all those and wins, the that, all those Nick, wins that you're talking about right. with the Rams. I mean, it was Seattle, one Arizona. Team. I mean, Cleveland was a good win. You lose the Washington they, Saints. Like, yeah, they, one they playoff took team. Took the Ravens the Niners, to overtime but in Baltimore. That was a great. That's game. That's the one loss they've had. They've had since the bye. So they have the better good. coach, the better quarterback. But it's, it's, I don't I don't think those gaps are as wide as you're saying. I mean, the I'm coach. You don't think Sean no, McVay's better? He's better. Why, why, look, people look at Dan Campbell because he's a big, huge guy and all these things and think he's not a cerebral coach. He has turned that team around. He could he's be five, a very four, good a buck ten. If I saw him go for two from the seven, I would think he's not that, that That's cerebral. one bad play. I mean, come on. Coming up next. <laughs> the dude, get a dude say that to his face. Right, right, right. The other thing, I, I'm not sure that.